You're listening to 88.3 FM, The Sting. My name is Anthony Fusco. And I'm Zach Ottenmuller. And we have a special guest here. This is AJ Jackson from Hello, the same gentlemen. motel. Woo-hoo. AJ, how are you? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Good. Pretty good. After that performance you had, I'm doing excellent. That good. was amazing. Got you hyped? Yes. I'll tell you what. I'm sitting there watching you perform. I don't know how you do it. I'm breaking a sweat just watching you dance around. Oh, no, it's it's great. I mean, you know, it, it eventually, at some point, you know it's working when the sweat goes into your eyes and you can't really see. That's how you know the set is, like, feeling good. Yeah. It's like burning. It's so good. Another thing about your performance I really like is your fan engagement. You really got the crowd moving. I could tell that's important to you. Well, I mean, I just like, you know, when you see someone there, like, singing along or moving that seems to know the music it just gets you so excited yeah it's like a feedback loop so i see someone else singing i'm like oh my god this is incredible and then i get more excited and they get more excited and then pretty soon i've got sweat in my eyeballs so there you yeah go. that's the goal the sweat in the eyeballs sweat in the eyeballs that's that's when you've achieved it <laughs> yes exactly well i'll tell you the end where you made the tunnel yeah that was excellent i was actually a part of the line that danced <laughs> oh, in okay you got moves <laughs> that that takes a lot of bravery. Like some people get a little you know timid when they get in that dance line, but you you could jump right in there. The first guy to get in there, uh, he had like a what was there was a special move he did. He came on and like blew some kisses. <laughs> like I've never seen that dance move. I like that. Yeah, yeah, it's like Cupid out there. It, it's amazing how people like him really like enhance the performance. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, it's whoever's feeling it most is the first one to jump in there. So it's like. You know, he he's he just <laughs> he took the plunge. Yeah. So. And he then, was on the brink of tears, man, at some yeah. point. The saxophone solo, he's like, that was beautiful. Awesome, awesome. And by the way, you're a saxophonist. He's killing it. Excellent. Yeah. Like, they're, they're talented amazing. dudes, man. Like, the, the whole band, everyone's... You know, we all played together for a long time. And it's just... It's uh, it, it's nice, yeah. He's, yep. he's a good guy. Now, Zach, you yeah. were actually taking pictures, weren't you? Yeah, so I was doing photography there, um, and I really enjoyed doing that with your group um a lot of emotion from you a lot of arm movement yeah. which i really uh love to see like as a someone who t- does photography Sweet. um so definitely send some of that stuff to you once we get it edited oh yeah um man. these arms are flying yeah <laughs> all over the place yeah so no it was it was really good and you're talking about the saxophonist um i like the like saxophone and trumpet because you know a lot of artists don't have those instruments in their band anymore, so the use of that was really great as well. Yeah, it's nice. You know, it's nice to have you know a whole stage full of players, people playing, and everything live. It's it's cool. That's yes. great. So, um, you know, you had the performance tonight. What, what's your up next upcoming performance? Where are you headed after this? Uh, we're doing a little tour in Europe, um, Belgium, and some places in Germany and Poland. That's coming up in August. Okay. Now I'm curious, when you're touring in Europe, is there any differences between performing there and performing here in the United States? You play on the other side of the stage. But um, okay. sorry, that's just a really bad <laughs> oh. joke. Yeah, no, no, it's, you know, um, very, a lot, lot of similarities. You know, every, every country is a little bit different in how they express things, but um, no, it's concert to concert it's universal you know feeling yeah that's great uh, now i do want to ask i know you have this filmmaker background and i know you've directed a lot of your own music videos and stuff so how does this filmmaking background impact your guys' music um i don't know i'm not really sure exactly you know sometimes thinking of music in terms of like um, a sort of three-act structure or kind of like similar to kind of uh, the way you would approach any kind of story where there's like an intro where you set up the characters and you set up the song and your first verse you get to the chorus and you realize the first thing is kind of the the, uh, the problem you have to solve kind of then you get back to the second verse it's a little different this time you're getting a little closer the second chorus you think you're there and all of a sudden you're not when the bridge hits and you're like everything's turned upside down you're like wait where am I and you come back to that big victorious ending that, that third chorus and go back to the outro which is like the intro with the newfound knowledge you had on, along the way so there's, there's similarities in that sense but yeah music's music sometimes they're different hats so are the videos developed after the song or is it kind of like a one and two kind of thing back and forth mostly after sometimes I'll have like visuals in my head when I'm writing uh, but m- mostly after and even the visuals in my head most of the time don't make it into the music video they're too uh too many explosions. 
gets too expensive after a while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do uh, you have anything else? Yeah, I was just going to ask, like, with your shows, do you ever, um, like, set them up to tell a story with your shows? Yeah. So, like, our last show was the original motion picture show. Right. Uh, and that was set up to be, like, you're inside of a movie. Okay. We had different scenes, and we went on this kind of journey. We had a narrator. Um, and before that, we did the late night tour, which was, like, a late night show. We were hosted by Johnny Pemberton, and... We had like commercial breaks, and we had our our crew. We had five cameras on stage, so we always try to do something different every tour, um, and make it interactive, you know, for the crowd too, make it kind of an experience. Yeah. All right, I have one final question yeah. for you. If you were on a stranded island, you could bring one album with you. What would it be? Sir Mix a lot. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. That's a great answer. <laughs> great Same answer. motel. Thank you very right. much. Thank you guys. <laughs>